Welcome to this week's episode of the Berkeley Beat, where we'll be bringing you this week's latest news. Today we'll be covering UC Berkeley's involvement in NASA Maven's mission and the reopening of U Cafe and much more. I'm Gabby Avila. And I'm Michelle Wu. And the Berkeley Beat starts now. A NASA mission that will investigate how Mars lost its dense atmosphere and abundant water with the help of UC Berkeley Space Sciences Laboratory launched into space Monday at 1.28 p.m. Three, two, one. Maven the Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution, and or MAVEN, spacecraft launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. MAVEN is projected to reach Mars on September 22, 2014 and will be in orbit for at least one year. UC Berkeley Space Sciences Laboratory provided about half of the science instruments for the mission. MAVEN will determine what exactly were the contributing factors and which had the biggest effect on the destruction of Mars's atmosphere. By studying what happened to Mars, scientists can hope to apply it to Earth's system. It's been windy these past few days in Berkeley and it left many students and public spaces in a clutter. Windy weather hit the Bay Area as a wind advisory was announced Thursday and ended Friday morning. Berkeley felt the draft as the strong winds created havoc on campus and on Telegraph Avenue as many trees, branches, and debris were blown onto roads and pavements. Many students complained about the wind via Twitter. In addition, the winds destroyed property and left many without power. Two people in Oakland were killed from wind-related accidents. Starting this month, scientists in the East Bay We'll trap mountain lions, tag them with radio collars, and take DNA samples between Mount Hamilton and the Karakina Strait. The Bay Area Puma Project is led by the Felidae Conservation Fund in collaboration with East Bay Regional Park District, the State Department of Fish and Wildlife, and the Oakland Zoo. This project will not only give scientists an estimate of how many of these big cats are prowling around, but it will also provide other useful information. Scientists will be able to chart their family trees, map their ranges, and better understand how they share their territory with us and other creatures. After the disastrous Super Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines that left thousands devastated, the Berkeley Filipino community honors the victims and survivors with a series of events to raise money for relief efforts. A fundraising campaign called Act for the Philippines distributed handmade ribbons, followed by other commemorations, such as a candlelight ceremony and a quiet 10-minute moment of silence. It really inspires me to help out and make sure uh, we are providing the necessary support for the families in the Philippines. One UC Berkeley student, Michelle Cabal, spoke on behalf of her mother's family. We didn't mind if everything was lost as long as we knew that they're okay. That's why we stood out here for so long in the rain, you know, to have that moment of silence to show the gravity of the situation. The rain out here is nothing compared to the things that they experienced over there. Reporting for Cal TV News, I'm Daniela Messerina. The cigarette ban movement resurfaces again at the city of Berkeley. UC Berkeley recently banned cigarette smoking on campus, which takes an effect on January 2nd. The cigarette ban is becoming a movement in the city of Berkeley as a city council member proposes to ban cigarette smoking in living spaces such as apartments and condos because of the smoke drafts and ventilation systems. Several council members are considering the idea of banning cigarette smoke in single family homes where many children and seniors are occupied. This Friday, the Department of Music held its 61st annual noon concert series featuring gamelan music of Java and Bali. Two types of Indonesian gamelan were performed, Javanese and Balinese. Both styles incorporated the use of gongs, fluctuations in tempo, and dynamics that are guided by drummers consisting of layers that move at different speeds. Javanese ensembles often feature singing both solo and choral. The sweet aroma of tarts, buns, and cakes are attracting many customers at U Cafe. The bakery opened in 2012 and temporarily closed down in May for remodeling. On November 1st of 2013, it reopened its stores to the public. U Cafe is a self-serve bakery in which customers are able to grab baked goods on display. Majority of its exciting and cheap menu contains drinks and baked goods under $5, which makes it popular among students at UC Berkeley. Other bargains include goods on sale for 75 cents or less and a buy four get one free macaroon sale. Thanks for joining us for this week's Berkeley Beat. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for all of your latest news. And to all our viewers, have a happy Thanksgiving weekend.